Hello and welcome to Switzer Super TV. I'm Peter Switzer. This is my colleague Paul Rickard. Hi Paul. Hello Peter. Okay, so September was a horrible month for stock players, but October turned out pretty good. Really good month, very much driven by the yield sectors, Peter. Yep. We had a great month in October. Yep. Looking at the numbers, September was down 5.4%, uh, but October rebounded 4.5%. Very good effort. Look, a really good performance in the market. On the screen in front of you, you can see the different components that make up the market, both with the price index and the accumulation index, which adds back the impact of dividends. The interesting part to note about it, Peter, was that the top 20 stocks are up around about 5%. Mm. But the so-called small part of the market, what we call the small ordinaries index, which represents stocks number 101 to 300, that was actually down off half a percent. So mm. we're seeing all the activity through the major stocks. Yeah, and we're still, they're down year to date. Yeah, very much so. Okay, so Paul, what parts of the market did well then? Well, very much the yield sectors. On, on the screen in front of you, you can see the major sectors that make up the Australian stock market. They're waiting as part of the S&P ASX 200 and the performance both during the month of October and on a year-to-date basis. And it's the yield-based sectors, it's the financials, property trusts, utilities, uh, and telecommunications through Telstra, which mm. are really leading the way. Well, look at healthcare, up 6.42% for the month and over 16% for the year. As you know, Peter, we've been very bullish about yeah. healthcare. It's probably the exception in the standout, up, mm. what, 16.5%. Very much driven by a lot of stocks. Uh, Cochlear is up by something like 30%, mm. Certex Medical 100%. The market leader, CSL, almost 19%, and one of my favourites, Ramsey Healthcare, up 37%. Uh, and probably reflecting, to some extent, the interest we saw both in the Hellscope IPO and more recently with Medibank. And also, a lot of people have chased the dollar down and chased these great uh, income earning stocks from overseas. Poor financials had a really good month, up 6.9%, but materials and energy really struggling. Yes, uh, energy stocks down with the oil price dropping mm. and the material sector very much with, which comprises the major miners like BHP and Rio, still pretty flat and uh, actually down 6% on a year-to-date basis. Yeah. But still, we had a pretty good month and that quite surprised me. I thought QE3, the end of it, and rising interest rates in the USA would have kept it really spooky in October, but instead it's come very, very good. Well, I think one of the key takes to take out of this, Peter, is really that the, the yield trade, to me, doesn't seem to be dead because mm. there aren't really a lot of alternatives, and I think Australian interest rates are staying low mm. for some considerable period. And it makes me feel confident that a good old Santa Claus rally is on the way. Let's hope so. <laughs> okay, that's Paul Rickard, I'm Peter Switzer, and that's Switzer Super TV for this week. Thanks for joining us.